guys. Okay, so we're just going to start with a squat. I want you just to take your hands onto your thighs, and then take the bum backwards into your squat position, nice and slowly though, let's really try and feel the movement today. And then just gently start bringing the hands kind of to the outside of the legs and the hip. So again, nice and slow. And then just up. And again. Let's do four more. Just waking up the legs. Four. Three. Two. And on this next one, hold it down. So I want you to keep in quite a low um, lung, uh, lunge, squat, sorry, position. And then go into your cow pose. So take a breath in. And round all the way. So try and round into your thoracic as well, Elizabeth, so you're getting that nice stretch. Well, everybody, don't come out of the stretch, out of the squat though. So keep the legs so you're getting a bit of endurance for the legs as well. And then round, nice and slow. This should feel, like for me, because I can still feel I've got a little bit of tension in the lower back, it just makes you realise how tight and how much tension we carry in the back. And for people that can't wrist there, so if you've ever got an issue through your wrist, People often stop doing cat to cow because they don't like being on their wrists when actually you can do it standing. Two more. And then roll all the way up. And then just take the feet really wide and just rock side to side. Just side to side with a soft knee. Yeah. And then, did I say, yeah, side to side, sorry, and then north to south. So just into a pelvic imprint, release. And then both together. So we're doing the pelvic circle. Slow it down, close your eyes. And then go the other way. And rest, well done. And then come back to centre position. Okay, so now we're just going to take one arm out and then the other arm. And we're just going to hold them there. And then I just want you to turn, in fact, let's do this one first. Take it out and then out, like we often do. So again, out, squeeze the scapula together and back. If you want to come up in your calf raise, you can. I'm just not overworking my legs this week, guys, so I'm just going to keep my feet down. But obviously, if you're not doing much strength work, you want to come up onto the balls of the feet as well. Yeah. So if you're coming up on the balls, I tend to go up, squeeze in, out, and lower. So you've got a little bit more balance work. Yeah. Let's go three. and one. Well done. And then just then shrugs. Shrugs. Have a little close of the eyes. Listen. Can you hear? Let's do quite a few of these. Another five. Five. And make sure you are taking your shoulders down. Reaching the fingers towards the feet. Can you hear that crunching? You can take it the other way. I don't get the crunching that way, I only get it the other way. Good. And then take the hands behind the back. A little bit of softness in the knees. And just keep the gentle connection through the car and just take the elbows in and then really widen them without widening your ribs as well. So try and keep your ribs closed and just out. Keep the knees soft. You can always sit down, guys, and do these. 
really good for that lymphatic system. It's raining again, my God, it's summer, what is going on? And um, four, three, two, and one. Well done, gently down. Let's do the neck work first. So, again, go easy. Go easy with this one, Serena, if your neck's bothering you, but really good to keep that neck going. So I'll go from this angle. So really your ear needs to be kind of directly, and lots of people are a bit like this. So try and keep the shoulder blades down. We're just going to take the chin to chest, and then rotate the chin towards the left shoulder. Hold for a little second or two, and then gently back. Hold at the right shoulder, and then down. Don't rush it. I'm not saying it can be particularly comfortable, but really just hold for a second. I've done lots of plant work this morning. I can feel my neck contracts. Again, don't be frightened of like just taking a little seat. Two more in that direction. And the other way, so gently right chin to right shoulder. I know you said right chin to right shoulder. Then. All I can do is smell towel because my hair are all greasy and horrible after my uh, massaging someone. I put some talc in it. Oh. Don't you realise how much tension the neck carries? And then gently back and then just come gently up. And then we're just going to take literally Chin parallel, shoulder blades down, and take a rotation. Back to centre. Rotate back. Back to centre. Six more. The girl who's just been, that's what she was struggling with, scapular area and neck. and then right into shoulder and then back left ear and back right ear just push it a little bit so it's difficult for me to know what you're feeling guys just to let you know that this is feeling like one heck of a stretch for me so don't be frightened of feeling the stretch it gets right into kind of like the trapezius muscles as well as muscles that run along the shoulders and then into a big diamond shape into the upper back. Two more. And you have more tightness on one side. Well done. Okay, and then just gently take that hand on the head and have a little full stretch. Use this hand to push down towards the feet and almost like imagine you've got a pocket in your shirt and you're just taking a little gaze into it. So if you'd have done this without mobilising, this would have probably felt really intense. Big deep breaths. Last one, softly back, and then the other side, I'll get on again, down, hand 
towards the foot. Take a little gaze to see it, to see it, to blossom it. Gently back. All right, good. And then all I want you to do is take one palm on one shoulder and the other palm on the other shoulder. Yeah? And then just really squeeze your elbows together so you're creating a little bit and try and round the shoulders. So you're creating that stretch in the upper thoracic. Take your hand, feet wide. And then take your hands behind your back and squeeze the scapula together. Take the chin to chest. Hold. Soften the knees a bit. And then go the other way and round. Good. Back again. Squeeze the scapula together. And the other way. And round. So let's just really work on the spine today. Get yourself to a wall. And then all I want you to do is place one forearm on the wall. And just take your weight forwards. Does that make sense? So from an upright position, you're just sending the bum back a bit and rounding the shoulders forward. So actually kind of rounding that upper back. And then back again. And again. And then back up. Keep your forearm there. And then just take a twist. Very difficult to know where upper back pain. Sometimes it's weakness, sometimes it's overwork. So it's good to stretch the pecs and the back as well. And again, turn. And back to centre. So from the other direction, we're just going to round, let the weight come forward. And then back up. Round in the back. Back up. Then hold the forearm and take a twist. Back to centre. Opening up the chest. And centre. One more. Really good for anyone that has that very shortening of the chest muscles like that. Okie dokie. So, we're just going to come and I just want you to take one arm out in front. And then I want you to turn the palm away. So you're turning your arm inwards. Turning the palm away. Use the other hand to interlink and then just Pull. Does that make sense? So this top hand is pulling the bottom wrist away. Just to feel a stretch, a little bit in the wrist and a little bit in the forearm. We carry a lot of tension in the lower arm that we don't even realise. Can you do that again? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's quite tough to... So if you take one arm out, babe, I'll just come down here. So one arm, and then turn the palm away from the body. Use the other hand to cross it over, interlink the fingers, and then pull that hand backwards. So pull the fingers in towards the back of the, the arm that's facing away. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Serena? Good, good. And you, some people will feel an almighty stretch in their wrist and their hand, others might not. And then again, and one more. And relax. My son, who works with my brother, my oldest son, he picks up a lot of buckets, he does a lot of weights, and whenever I'm massaging, these muscles, the bracket here, is super tight. So again, take it out, when I'm out in front, turn your palm away from the body, yes, yeah, so it's not facing in, your palm's facing away. Use the other hand to cross over, interlink the fingers, and then Pull that wrist, so you're not taking it that way, you're obviously pulling your wrist backwards, so it's going towards the wall. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. Last one. And then back, 
to centre, just give your wrist a little bit of an in and out. Don't forget our poor little wrist, guys. Yeah, just give some little stretches. Obviously, you can hold the stretch or just dynamically move it. Okay, now we are going to do a little bit of movement through our spine in rotation. So again, this will help with that thoracic. So if you just take your hands to prayer, keep everything nice and still, and we're just going to now rotate. Try and keep your hips facing forwards. So we're not rotating like this, yeah? So we're not rotating like this. We're keeping, that'll pull on the knee as well. So keep the ribs down. You just take a big deep breath. You can then take this hand, the back hand, and then just reach it back and notice how much of a stretch you get through that pectoral wall. Bring it back to center and then back. Go the other way, keep the hips forward and then just use the hand to take it back. And then back to center. And then just do it one in, back to center. Two, back to center. Three, four, five. The spine gets tight in rotation as well. And then take your arms up, grab one, the wrist of the hand that's up. Try and keep your bicep around your ear, so not forward. And then again, we're gonna take it into that deep flexion of the spine. Take a breath in. Gently back to centre, the other side. So again, nice straight out, take it over. I think I've just been doing a bit too much strength work, which is fantastic strength work, but not enough stretch. And then just round, so you're feeling it in that upper, above your bra strap area. They were all the trapezius muscles, the rhomboids. And then gently back, take three big circles. Good circle back. Your dipper, well done. Okie dokie, let's get moving a little bit more. So let's take one foot in front of the other. Okay. So we're just gonna, and I just want you to see if you can really reach back. Does that make sense? So like this, draw the tummy in, really push the hips back. And then gently back up. And again, keep the core engaged, reach forward and the bum back. And again. Good, and then just hold, hold that position, draw the tummy in, can we come up? Whoop! <laughs> so nine, so eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Into balance and strength. And the foot that's in front, take it across into that IT band now. Take the hips back, weight forwards, nice after a walk, Linda. Gently down. And again, don't force it, just go to where you feel comfortable. You can always use a yoga block, guys, if you can't reach the floor. 
Just stay there, guys. And then just gently come up. Yeah. So let's just do that other side. I can't remember if I've done this side or not. Yeah, I think this is the right one for me. Shoulders down, I'll show you again into the yoga block. Just lift and lift and lift and lift and lift. Then five, <laughs> four, three, two. I was laughing because my balance on one day was really brilliant because my legs weren't tired because I didn't do any strength and now I'm back to normal. And then reach back. So again, keep the car tight. Reach back. Reach back. Two more. Two. And one. And then take that foot over. Hips back. So again, I'll just reach down. I probably shouldn't do that. That's not very good practice. If you can't reach the floor, chin to chest, take the hips back. And for you, for some people, that is enough. I've got a lot of guys in class that can't get any further than that, and that's fine. So you can always test. If I'm honest, that right side of my body is still a little bit tight. So I can still feel my hamstring there in the right side. And you can play around with yoga blocks. That would be a higher level, obviously. And then start lowering it. And, you know, up until the point where that's enough for me today. Let your breath help you. Deep in exhalations. Soften the front knee and gently up. Well done. All right. So, we're going to use a little bit of weights today, but we're not going to do many. Um, we've obviously stretched out a bit, but I just want to do, but obviously, working through the scapula helps with a lot of pain as well. A lot of people get weak in the scap. But we're just going to do our balance work first. So, we're going to take our foot, spread it really nice and wide. And then we are just going to bring it into our tree pose. As always, practice something daily just to get better at it. And then just hold. Some days it may feel great, other days less so. Take a breath in. And out. And again. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. The leg you were stood on, take it to the back. If you've got a wall, push into it so you are really feeling the stretch down the back of the leg, getting the heel to the floor if you can. Well done. Into that other side. So again, reach up. Keep the shoulders down. Yeah. And we're actually just going to place them on our shoulders. And we're going to take some little circles. And just kind of have a little thing. Does this help you? Does it make your balance easier when you're doing a movement? It's nice anyway. Three. Two and one, and then just hold. Take a couple of breaths in and out. Last one. Good. 
movement. The leg you've been stood up. Take it to the back. Push the heel in. Yeah, calves, calves hand has felt great last night. So I've just been teaching Pilates, not doing any strength work at all. But last night I did a bar class and a hit class this morning. And yeah, everything's tightening up again. So all my advice would be strength work, cardio work is great. Walking, doing any kind. But if you are doing more strength and cardio, then you need to just up your stretching a bit. I found out the hard way last week. And you yeah, back to centre. Well done. Good work. Okay, let's just do some nice little squats just to get the hips moving, guys, before we get down onto... Oh, no, we're going to do a few little weights. Uh, do you know what? I think I might leave weights this week because I think we've just really worked on our neck and loosening everything up a bit. So I'm going to not do weights this week. We'll do it next week instead. And I want you to do... We're going to do some rowbacks next week. So let's just stick to our legs, keep the shoulders down, and we're going to gently down. And, and three, and four, and five, and five, and four, and three. You can go lower if you want. Two. One, make sure you can lift the toes up in your squat position to make sure that bum's back to that wall. Let's do ten more for ten, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. And then I just want you to reach into one. Yeah, you can get the hands on the floor if you want, or just push. And then gently up. Oh, in the thighs are tight here, Serena. <laughs> push in. People don't realise how tight they're getting in their, in their thighs. And then back and then keep the legs super, super wide again. And again, just interlink the fingers. Take, if you don't want to, if you feel like the scapula is a bit tight, you can just hold the, hand, the hands on the hips and then just come back like this. And then just gently again, you can use your yoga block if the hands won't come onto the floor. And just gently press down. So again, if you weren't touching the floor, like I say, you could have it like this or like that. And just have a little rock forwards and backwards. So let's keep with our lovely mobility today. So we'll do strength in and amongst, but not crazy strength. And then just take both hands to one foot. Let the head hang towards the knee. Good, and to the other side. Breath in. Back to the middle. Gently start bringing the legs in, guys. Softening through the knees and gently back up to that centre position. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, so... We're going to come to the edge of our mat. I tidied my room this morning, but somehow I managed to mess it up again. So we're going to come to the edge of our mat. And we're giving ourselves a little bit of width through the feet to take the pressure off of the back. So a little bit of softness in the knee. Chin to chest, hips backwards. Gently start coming down. And if you don't want to do cat to cow on the mat, come back halfway up, guys, and do it like we did at the beginning. Yeah. 
Otherwise, walk it straight down onto the floor. Tuck your toes. Take your bum up. Take a beautiful breath in. Keep your neck sort of into that position where the chin's towards the chest. And then step round in. Do six more. Last one. And then take your big toes together and sit back into a beautiful, beautiful, deep child's pose. Rest, just think of all the benefits mobility and stretch have on the body. Take a breath in. And out. Again, round to the right, reach the top hand over, really, this will be a good one, uh, Elizabeth. Just try and take this top hand over the bottom hand, feeling the stretch. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. Last one. Come to the other side. Again, reach long. Two more. Last one. Well done. Come to lie on the floor. Okay, we're going to take our arms long. We're going to gently just slightly turn our heels in towards each other. And then we're going to take our gaze, not our gaze, our um, attention, that's the word, attention to our pelvic area. So push the pubic bone down into the mat and draw that navel in. Yeah, imagine that hot curl on the belly. Yeah, and you're drawing the belly button in and away from the mat. And we're just going to lift opposite arm and leg and then lower. Lift opposite arm and leg and lower. To progress it, you can lift your head and chest. Don't lift the leg too high. Squeeze the glutes if you want. Squeeze. One more each side. Lower back down. Have a windscreen wipe. Side to side. And then let's work up through our upper body to give some strength. So again, keep the feet on the ground, push the pubic bone into the mat, draw the tummy in, slide the shoulder blades away from your ears and lift up and then just pull them down. Hold, keep drawing that tummy in, squeezing the scapula. And a lower. Have a little wiggle. Let's go again, push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy in, slide the shoulder blades down, lift. And lower. Another little wiggle. 
Then into that. Take the palms into the seams of your trousers. Push the pubic bone down. Reach the fingers long. And again, lift up. Keep the neck nice and long. Hold. Keep drawing the tummy in. Well done, back to centre. Again, have a windscreen wipe. Good. Take the head to one side, just grab the foot with the same hand. Just pull, ideally that knee, that foot, sorry, heel will come into bump. Push your pubic bone down to the mat, tuck the tailbone to increase the stretch. Lift the thigh away if you need to. A lot of people don't, that can be too much. Beautiful, well done. Come to the other side and again, heel into butt. Debs is sunning herself in France, guys, that's why she's not here. She's still doing one-to-ones with me from France, but I think it's an out there an hour in front. So this class coincides with nice lunch on the beach. Okay, well done. So all I want you to do now is take your hands near your shoulders, push your pubic bone down, and then just lift, just lift the chest a little bit. That might be all you want to come to. Some people like to come into that full extension, but only if it feels comfortable. And then slowly back down. Good. Well done. Okay, lift yourself up, guys, into a four-point kneeling position just for some dynamic stretching. So just back and forth. Hopefully it feels okay on the knee. I know for some people, knees are not great, so you might just want to come into a shell. It can feel really nice, this. Four more. Four. Three. Two and one, and then just into normal four point kneeling, and you can just have a little twist and then back to center, a little twist, center, and then take one hand and thread it through, thread through the needle, take your gaze up to ceiling. The other way. For some people, if you're very tight, you might find this session harder than normal, even though we're not doing as much um, kind of strength. And gently back to centre position. So these ones with weights are always a good position if you don't have problems with wrists. Yeah, like this. Obviously, if you do, you're best doing weights standing. And then just come onto your back. And we're just going to stick with the mobility. So we're going to do four bridges and four roll downs. If you don't want to roll down, roll up, sorry, not roll down. If you don't want to roll up, then I want you to take your hands behind your back, chin to chest, behind your head, sorry, chin to chest. And I want you just to do probably eight chest lifts. Remember, try and get your scapula away and don't squash the lower back into the mat. Keep into neutral. Other butt, we're going to do the four bridges first. So walk the heels towards the bottom. Take a beautiful breath in. And just gently roll the lower back into the mat. Nice and slowly. Send them messages to the brain that our joints are lovely and lubricated and work. Send the knees long. Take a breath in. Slowly lower. And bridge guys, close your eyes and really feel that you can see your skeleton, your spine working and it's moving bone by bone. Breath in, slow lower. Just 
Do two more. Make sure the knees are not coming apart. Breath in. Slowly down. Last one. I forgot to do the bit of cardio, didn't I, Lorraine? <laughs> don't worry, today's a really good feel. If you remind me next week, I'll do a little bit of cardio. I don't want to do it now if it were just too nice and relaxed. Take your arms out. But our body, hopefully, after this session, will feel like it's moving much better. So, yeah, remind me next week and we'll do a little bit of low impact cardio. Serena didn't want to do it anyway. <laughs> and back to centre. And the other way. Oh, I'm going to put my hit session on to my YouTube. You can always do the warm up there. And then back to centre the other way. Just release any tension in the back. And then back to centre. So again, these ones are really nice for so people that are pregnant. I know there's no one on here, but anyone who's watching on YouTube, these are really good for pregnancy and roll-ups aren't because you don't want that abdominal pressure. So again, just see if a roll-up doesn't feel good today, go into chest lift. Chin towards the chest, start lifting up. So sometimes I do roll up and yeah, my body doesn't want to do it. Today it feels good. Ribs towards the hips always. Exhale, forward, restart. But remember too much rolling, certainly for things like osteoporosis is not good. So the ones on the floor are really nice. One more. So we'll have a week off of doing glute work, guys. We'll come back to kind of glutes next week, side leg and things. But I think everyone's feeling a little bit tight at the minute. I think everyone's depressed that we're not getting a summer. And two. Last one. So we'll work a bit more on core strength and spinal health. And then gently down and then just take one leg, opposite hand and we'll just come into that supine spine which last week felt really tough for me. Still definitely a little bit tighter than normal but nowhere near. So just bring it back to centre, grab the back of the hamstring, so this will be nice after a walk as well Linda, and then just straighten the leg and bend the knee, straighten the leg, bend the knee, straighten the leg. Make sure you change gently to chest guys, could feel mine doing that then for a sec. And then hold and circle. Circle back. Beautiful. Well done. The other side, grab the back of the hamstring, straighten and release. Hold in, out. In, out, circle, circle back, and release, well done. Let's go a little bit more into some core. So if you've got your ball, you might prefer to put your ball underneath the lumbar spine. I know Serena doesn't like the ball. If not, 
and just keep yourself on the mat. I'm going to do it on the mat because I want to do dead book today and on the ball. I like it, but a lot of people find that they feel very unstable. So just take your feet and arm with there for bridge. We're going to walk it away a little bit and give yourself them pelvic tilts forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. And then find that position where you feel if you had a tray of drinks on your tummy, they will be stable. Chin to chest, shoulders should feel nice and open. Or collarbone should feel nice and open. Bring the right leg up and the left leg. Yeah. And then see if you can bring both arms up. So we're just going to keep you. Take a hug and then reach down and hold that position. Keep the core engaged. Push the ribs down, navel to spine. Just use the legs first. In and out. And just imagine your pelvis is in cement. It's not rocking east to west, north to south. You're not spilling the drinks out to the side. You're not spilling the imaginary drinks to the front or into the belly button. You want to try dead bug and you can keep your ribs in and down. Take one hand forward, the other hand comes back. Keep the car tight, don't let the drinks tip forwards. out there through the back. Feel free to go into your helicopter or windmill. I'm trying to go, yeah I can do it. I thought I couldn't go in the same direction, you know. <laughs> I still prefer alternate. My brain must be working well today. The other week I tried to go in the same direction, I couldn't. And two. And one. And then just take a little stretch of the deltoids. And the other way. And then just take your arms out to cactus and just take them back, nothing major. And then we're just going to gently grab hold of your resistance band, guys. I'm placing my ball underneath my head, you don't have to do that. I quite like it though. You can do some little circles on it, side to side on it. And then just take the band around the foot. And again, draw the tummy in. So try and keep a neutral spine. Yeah, then tray drinks we don't want to spill into our belly button as we bring the leg up. So we're trying to keep it neutral. Take it nice and straight till you find a three to four on a discomfort scale. And then just take the band in the opposite hand, invert the foot or take it back to neutral if it feels too much. 
and then just gently across. Soften the knee, bring it back to centre, take it in the other direction. Soften the knee, back to centre, switch feet and again just hold that hamstring. Take the band in the opposite hand and remember if you're prone to lymphedema, don't be wrapping the resistance band around your foot, uh, around your wrist, sorry. Can't believe it's 25 past already. And back up. And then the other way. Soften and then feet either side of the mat and just gently bring that right knee in towards the mat. Just opening up. And the other side. Even if this feels very mild to you, please try and do it. I've got a few clients that can't do this anymore. They get a terrible nervy feeling in their hip, almost like a pinch nerve. And then just gently, just watch guys, you don't have to do this. I'll send you the video be on YouTube anyway. But you can take the back of the um, roller into, and you just come over like this. And then gently back up. And it can feel quite nice. Or you can, obviously the neck's going to come back a little bit. And then back. So you might not like it, that's why I've shown you it first. And then just, I'm just going to take it away. And I'm just going to literally take my legs together, arms out wide. And I'm just going to take the knees in one direction, head to the other. And then I want you to stay here for about 15 seconds, inhaling, letting the belly rise. Out, breath release. And again. Last one, inhale, let the belly rise. Draw the tummy in, back to centre and the other direction. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out, breath, release. Two more. Last one. Back to centre position and then just place the left leg nice and long, the right leg into tabletop. Push that inner right knee towards the opposite shoulder. Lift up and try and just bring that heel into the top of the thigh. But keep the pressure on the outside of the knee, pushing that inner knee towards the opposite shoulder like a diagonal. And the other side, so hopefully guys, you've had really enjoyed today's session, slightly different to normal, but hopefully it's got them tight little spots. And you feel six feet tall. And then just gently into butterfly. Just turn the palms up and just take some deep sighs, so deep inhales. <sighs> Two more. Last one. Length 
open your legs, just stay into that lovely restful pose. Just really get into grips with your bony landmarks. And then just take some little circles on the ceiling. And circle back. And then just gently over. And again, just take a beautiful curve. And then cat. And then tuck the toes, walk the hands back, hips nice and high, walk the right heel down, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left. Soften the knees, walk the hands back. And fabulous. And I don't know what's happening to my